Hey y'all, this is Gloria. Today is Wednesday, July the 24th. Um, I did my post off week one video yesterday, but um, I didn't have a weigh-in and I tried to do a, a weigh-in today. I even went by the uh, uh, hospital uh, that's here in my town to, you know, to get a weight to try to kind of be accurate. I never did get the same weight twice. I went by the gym where I uh, uh, normally was weighing at. When I first got on the scales, I was like, oh my God. It gave me like five different weights. It first said like 314 and and then it kept jumping around this one and that one that said 317 and I'm like, good Lord, I said, let me just go by the hospital. Well, the hospital, I weighed uh, 324. But I know something I'm right. They changed their scales because the last time I was there, their scales was the um, kind that did the, I don't know, the kgs or whatever it was. And they had to kind of uh, do a little um, converting it. Well, the one today wasn't conversion. You know, it just straight up. But there's no way that I've only lost two pounds through this whole mess. No way. But anyhow, I'm just not going to do an official um, wait until when I go back to the doctor, which is on the 15th, or to my surgeon for an update um, or for a checkup. But other than that, everything's still going good. Um, I finally uh, was able to get all my medicines in, all my vitamins in. And I'm very proud of that. And um, getting in my, I'm doing like two protein shakes. Plus, I'm getting in um, extra protein because I don't have the, um, like the real turkey or real chicken to start out with my diet. So, I've got this little um, canned chicken. It's like canned chicken in water. And it's pretty tasty. And it makes the perfect amount to measure up for my tablespoons. So, uh, doing pretty good. I could tell myself just by looking, you know, at my neck and stuff that I, I have lost. I definitely am losing. Um, and I have to be honest, um, while I was in all that pain and stuff, you know, I got to thinking, is it going to be worth it? But now that I'm getting better, uh, I think it is going to be worth it. I really do. Because the restriction... As far as my eating, it's unbelievable. Um, before all this, before I really uh, got serious of trying to eat healthy and all that, which I've always tried to, for a while, trying to been conscious of what I was eating. I'd eat a lot, but what I was eating. So when we smash, say like uh, green beans, I love green beans. And you know, green beans don't hardly have any calories at all. So I was still getting my feel, but not over, you know, over indulging. Um, but I would eat one big plate of food and then I'd eat another plate that was just as big. And now I think back about it and I'm like, gosh, how can a, how can a person function eating like that? Um, just unbelievable. Uh, and now, you know, I eat this little tiny plate of food with just tablespoons of food instead of big spoons of food. And, I mean, I feel like I've ate a five-course meal. And it's, it's kind of unreal to think about that. I mean, the difference it makes. And my definite plan is once I get, you know, I know they say you have I don't know, nine months to a year, possibly, of restriction. I'm going to stay on track. Um, because I have spent so many years feeling like I was in a body, trapped in a body, that where I couldn't do nothing. Um, was I unable to um, just sit down and just sit in the floor? I always loved just sitting in the floor, um reading or or just doing things and you know I never could uh, just say like um, 
you know, like just ball my legs up on the couch, you know, just to have a little comfortable, cozy position and read or anything like that. Because I was so miserable. I've spent so many wasted years, y'all. I mean, just thinking about, you know, how different it could have been. Not no more, though. Hitting 50, a uh, month after next, and this old gal's going to get a second wind. Well, at 50, probably by my third, but, you know, it's here and there. But, um, you know, it is a hard struggle, seriously. Um, being overweight, it's rough. I've been overweight my whole life. I've dealt with kids, family. Uh, everybody ridiculed me because I was so big. No, I wasn't that big. But I'm getting back to the size to where... Somebody starts some crap, I'm just going to kick the shit out of them. But hey, you know, I'm strong. I'm healthy. So, um, it's unbelievable the difference that just in one week, I am on, um, I'm supposed to be on, still get my same diabetic medicine, but if I was to take all the medicine I was taking, I wouldn't function. Uh, as it stands right now, I'm taking one of the uh, metformin, which is a thousand milligrams. So I really look for the doctor to uh, have me just go back to, you know, just 500 a day. <clears throat> but I'm just taking the five, the 1,000 of the mornings. And then I'm taking one of my, I think it's called Glipperide or something like that. I'm taking that. And I ain't taking any at night because... I'm not taking any chances of that sugar bottoming out uh, in the middle of the night and knowing I can't, if I was to have something sweet to counteract that, I'm going to get sick as a dog. So either way, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, 50-50 thing. So, um, I am going to do my best. Do what I need to do. Take care of business. Uh, I'm not on my blood pressure medicine. The doctor had dug me off, but, well... Kind of unofficially did. It's like my surgeon, when I told him what blood pressure, blood pressure medicine I was on, uh, it's got a diuretic in it. He said absolutely not to take it. Uh, my kidney doctor had uh, told his nurse to tell me to go back on my Lasix. It's like 80 a day to cut it back to 40. Surgeon said no. He don't want me to be on any kind of thing like that because he said that would really deplete my potassium. Um, thank God for Fitness Pal, because I use that, and I scan in every single item that I take in, everything. And that way I can kind of watch my proteins and all that stuff. And I do my water intake and all. Um, <clears throat> but I'm amazed, at, excuse me. I'm amazed that every day um, I wake up just that much better. Um, I go the 31st uh, to opto ophthalmologist, and you know what? I have a good feeling that he's going to completely change my prescription on my glasses because now for me to do a close up like this, it makes it really hard to see. That's why I go ahead and take my glasses off, you know, because the glare and all, and for me to see. You know, to keep check on my minutes and all, it's just, uh, it's hard to see. So, I know my eyes are getting better. Um, I haven't, this is just, I mean, it's just so crazy. Uh, before I, um, you know, went into surgery, I was having a really bad spasms in my back. And I was like, oh my God. And, I mean, it was horrible. Knock on wood, y'all. Since I've been out of that hospital and been at home, and no back pain. I mean, I've had a lot of stuff with the stomach. Maybe it's the pain medicine I'm just taking at night. Just to kind of take the edge off so I can sleep. That might be helping. Who knows? But I know a lot of people stop taking the pain medicine almost right away. But I'm having too much of a um, really uncomfortable hurt and pinch. I mean, it's not like bad, bad. But it's enough to where I wouldn't be able to have a good night's sleep. So I just take like a half of a dose, just kind of take the edge off. 
and um, I'm not driving or nothing like that, but I'm doing my best to uh, get back to normal. Yesterday we went, for my first day out of the house after I got home from surgery, we went to um, my sister's house, and I did quite a bit of walking, cause it's a big house, but we walked from her house over to her in-law's house, and it was a good walk. I did fine. Um, but I'm simply amazed. Absolutely blown away. So guys, uh, if you're watching this and you're pre-op, you're thinking about weight loss surgery, I have to say it's, for me, being out of control, um, and I knew it was out of control with eating, you know, even though I was diabetic and was well, still diabetic, but um, this has been the best thing for me. This has helped to get me in check to where I have no choice but to basically eat right because if I go try to eat a lot of crap right now, it's going to make me sick, very sick. Well, y'all, it's running on, but as soon as I get a, a good update, hopefully probably by, well, my month uh, a post-op I'll be able to put an accurate weight um, but I can tell I'm losing weight because the clothes I'm putting on uh, it's a lot looser. I put on a um, house coat yesterday my sister gave me and it fit me it was a 3X. Go from 5 to a 3 and it makes a difference okay, well y'all have a lovely afternoon and I'm just going to sit here and just relax and probably get out and do some walking here in a little while just to, um, you know, to get the exercise in. Well, I love y'all, and talk to you later. Bye.